it's always best to burn your kitchen floor outside. This is my 300 yen crescent wrench, just barely big enough for this nut here. Okay. And one goes into this T and it barely, barely fits. Yeah, you see that? And when I be, I mean barely, I mean it's, I didn't think I was going to be able to get it on. Uh, Originally, the ones that came with it, they had thread on one side and then like a connect, quick, quick connect adapter on the other side. But, uh, I wasn't able to use that. Okay, I think... I think that's about as tight as it needs to go right there. Uh, this is this is plastic, and I think if I go any tighter, then it might be bad. So that's good for that. Okay, so um, still don't have the the cold water pipe uh, connected in here, but I wanted to get it all connected to the hot water heater first, and then. Like, so everything on the outside would be finished. That's what I wanted. And um, so this is, this is actually all cemented and in place. So we, we have it going down here. And as you can see, it comes out from the wall a little bit to give room for the cold water pipe. It's gonna come down there later. Both of these are ran outside. Every single one of these is cemented and in place except for this one piece here, because like I said, I need to get a tool to tighten that first, and then I will glue that back. I'll glue it into place rather. I finished getting these all cemented, and um, I'm probably just gonna get like, uh, I mean, there, there are several places on the house like this that are damaged. I, I can't fix them yet because, you know, this this wood, this seal plate wood is gonna have to be replaced along with some of these posts before I ever get to that wall. So probably what I'll do is I'll just get some kind of temporary insulation uh, or spray foam or something. You can see there's also some places over here and I'll fill that in just to temporarily keep it filled. So all of this is done. So from the spring all the way in to the pump through the water filter out here and I've got it ran over to right here and i've got the elbow sitting right down there it runs it's and here's the pipe i just haven't connected it yet it runs straight up into this connector here now this happens to be the same size as this this is the size that goes into the water filter and what i'm going to do is uh, i have to go to the hardware store because this pvc doesn't screw right onto that I need to get some type of connector. So uh, I'm gonna go to the hardware store in a minute and get that so I can finish. And then this is the, that's the gas connection there, but this is the uh, hot water connection. This is the same size as this. I've already checked it. This, uh, I'm gonna run straight down and just go in the wall right down here. On the other side, where it comes in, I'll just run it over here in the corner and then along the baseboard uh right right along here right along the baseboard so it's not a tripping hazard and over here to where the hot tub will be uh or the bathtub which is kind of like a hot tub in a way and then of course the 
cold water pipe, which is going to go down there and along the baseboard there and over here, it will meet the, the hot water pipe right over here in the corner, right behind this door that I've got leaned up. And then I've got a couple of, I've got two of these, one for cold water and one for hot water that I can connect. And uh, these came with the house. They were just in here. Uh, I hope they don't leak because this saves me some money. If I, if I go buy these, they're like 5000 for a pair. And I don't, <laughs> I, I can't spend that right now. Well, if you've ever wondered what an old, old floor, old, old kitchen floor looks like for an old Japanese house, then here you go. Uh, definitely not up to the same quality standards as the rest of the house. It's the next day. <laughs> Still working on the plumbing. Got the other piece that I needed. The final piece to connect the cold water pipe. Get to connect it from down there. It comes out of the out from the the water filter and it, it's run over there and up the wall and i've got it nice and tight this is the wrench that i bought to tighten these nuts especially the one on the pump but wouldn't you know it even as big as it goes it's still not big enough to fit the the nut on that pump. I was able to use it for these others and it just barely works on these others. And this was the biggest one they had. They didn't have anything bigger than this. And I thought, oh, surely this would be enough. No, of course not. That would be too easy. I was able to use it to tighten this here and to tighten this here. Now I'm about to put some cement on this hot water tube and then try to tighten it down a little bit. I don't really think this is going to help because this is such a strong coupling. It's mostly going to have to be cement that, that holds this. I, I hope that it it's able to hold it well. Um, I might have to get a different fitting for this. We'll have to see. I also have a little more pipe to run for this cold water pipe. I haven't done that yet. I mean, like I said before, I was just kind of saving the inside stuff for last. I need more pipe. Now I've got this PVC and this will, this will do this piece here, but I still need more. So much junk. I'd like to just clean up or throw away. Nope. It's just two more pieces of insulation. The good thing is that I think that I bought enough insulation. I took a guess and it turned out to be right, I believe, because this stuff that's left here, I believe that I'll, I'll wind up putting it on and then it'll be just enough. Burning the last remnants of some garbage here. Unfortunately, if I want to finish this today, that means I seriously have to go back to the van and drive back down to the hardware store <laughs> and get some more PVC pipe. But... Before I do that, I'm going to do a couple of other things, like, for example, uh, check the fittings here, because if you don't know what these are on this bathtub, these are basically for recirculation, and Japanese bathtubs often have a cover. The reason is because this bathtub, and you might look at this and say, this is a ridiculous bathtub. Who would take a bath in this? Well, your idea of a bath, if you, if that's what you think, then your idea of a bath is a little bit different than the typical Japanese idea of a bath. This is not really meant to climb into and wash yourself. It's not what it's for. Basically, this is for after you've cleaned yourself. So if you have a shower, you wash yourself and you clean yourself up really good from head to toe, every body part. And then you dry yourself off. And once you're completely clean and dry, then you run some hot water in here. You can do cold water, but typically you run hot water. If you had two tubs, then you could do hot and cold. And then you could alternate getting in one and the other. But in, in homes, this is typically the only one. So you put hot water in here and you get in there and you relax and you soak for a while. In clear water, no soap. 
no bubble bath, none of that. It's just for soaking. When you finish, you get out, you towel off, you put the cover on. You can keep the water there because it was just used for soaking. You cover the water and leave it. And then next time, tomorrow, a few days later, whatever, you want to soak again. Da 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 da. You have the recirculation pipes here that would typically be connected to some sort of system. And the more modern systems, this will be connected to like a pump and a heater. So it will draw it out, heat it up, and then push it back in. So it'll literally just reheat the water that's already in there. That's what's called a recirculator. I don't have any of that right now. So I'm going to see if there's some kind of plugs I can get for these. Because I'm not sure that I can just close it on the inside. Yeah, I don't see any way to close it on the inside. There is a, a plug for the drain at the bottom. But I don't see a way to plug these. These don't close. So I need to put something here to plug them up. I may as well measure that. And when I go to the hardware store, see if I can't find them. Yes, still burning. But let's take a look at the update. All of those clothes out of the dresser are gone now. From the top to the bottom, completely empty. Unless there's a secret compartment that I haven't found yet. If so, then I will see if I can find it later. But right now, you can see I've taken all of the the clothes and the futon and everything. And a lot of it I've already burned, but some of it is still sitting there. Like I said, I, I kind of keep these things just for a little while in case I need them to help burn other things. I've also been raking up a lot of the junk from the yard, and it's very wet from when the snow has been melting. So it produces a lot of smoke, and it makes the fire go down a lot. However, mixing this this wet grass and wet dead grass with the clothes and some of the old wood that I'm uh, getting, like some of the crap that I pulled off the bathhouse here, uh, it keeps burning. Yeah, yeah. And like you can see, it puts off a lot of smoke, but I don't really care about that. What I care about is getting it done. And... <clears throat> This is the next thing I wanted to show you. This piece right here, this is the drain. This is the bottom side of the tub. And uh, the, the drain piece here, this is the old gasket. And this is the piece that goes, uh, not on this side, it goes in from the other side. And you can see it has threads on it. And then the underside piece screws on right here to form the seal to keep the water from coming out. And this this thread size, it's a it's a fine thread uh, or uh, or small thread. And uh, apparently, this is not the standard size anymore. Now in the stores, whenever you go and buy these parts, they're all like coarse thread or or big big thread. And so none of those fit these. However, since I was able to take the entire piece out. I, I got a complete replacement mechanism that goes here, and I'm going to try and see if it fits. They told me if it doesn't fit, I can bring it back as long as I don't use it. <laughs> well, obviously, if it doesn't fit, I'm not going to use it. But anyway, I'll try that now. This is my Tabasco scorpion sauce that I will use later. <laughs> okay, so I just spent like the last 15 minutes looking for this. I, I had it in this bag from Juntendo along with some other things. Some of these are mine. They, I took them with me to the store to try to get the right sizes. And others are pieces that I bought. This is a very expensive piece that I bought. The one I just told you about that's supposed to replace this one right here. I just have to 
they opened it at the store, so I don't care about that. They just said, you know, if it doesn't fit, just bring it back and you can exchange it or, or return it. It doesn't matter. Um, they said, don't use it, though. Like, <laughs> I, I, okay. Um, am I going to install it, take a bath, and then take it out and take it back to the store? Uh, I, I don't know. But anyway, let's give this a try right quick and see if it fits. <laughs> No. So far, so good. It only came with one rubber gasket, and the, the one that was on the tub was on the bottom, but I put the rubber gasket on the other side, and I'm just going to stick this one on the bottom side. I feel like it should have two, but it seems like it'll fit, so I'll just put it on there to help size it. Uh, after. <laughs> First, just, just need to make sure this, uh, this goes on properly. Okay, yeah, this new size fits, so the, the hole in the tub is a standard size, but the threads on this piece were different, but this one fits. This piece is like $25 <laughs> just for this one piece, ridiculous, but I need it, so um, I will be keeping it. it. This one appears to work. But I am going to do what I said and put a gasket on both sides. I'm not a plumbing guy, but I feel like it should have a gasket on both sides. What do you think? It only came with one. Does it go on the top side or the bottom side? The one that I took off, like I said, it was on the, the bottom side only. But for now, I'll just put it on there and I'll look it up online. If you guys know, you can comment. But probably by this time, by the time you comment and see the video... I will have already, yeah, yeah, this piece of plastic that was on here, it doesn't belong, I'll take it off. Now, it's just rubber, and, and the gasket, it, it's not bad, so I think it's okay, but like I said, by the time you guys can comment whether or not it's supposed to have the gasket, one gasket on top or bottom, or two gaskets, one on top and bottom, I'll probably already know the answer, and I will have fixed it, but feel free to comment in the video section video comment section uh can't reach the the top <laughs> i can't reach in like this to to hold it to to tighten it let me try see if, see if it's uh, possible oh i can just barely reach Okay, I think the way I can tighten it is to put a tool in here and so I can hold it and then tighten it. But I will do that later. The main thing is I wanted to make sure 
that it fits and it does so yeah i already have a an adapter that will screw onto this piece and then connect to the larger drain pipe pvc that i picked up yesterday also so we're good to go there uh, now all i have to do do you like my tripod that was my tripod right there <laughs> I was really hoping that the phone wouldn't fall in there because then I would have to try to fish it out. That would have been fun. Okay, so as far as the tub is concerned, all I have to do now is make sure that I pick up these two plugs when I go to the hardware store. I don't know what else to do to plug these up, but I found that they have two of these that will fit in here and from there what i can do if i want a more like medium to long-term solution i can put cement glue on here and then stick it in there and it just won't come out do that for both of these um if i'm never going to use this uh, i'm sure it can be taken out later with some effort but if i don't do that I don't know what else to do to stop these up. Um, you can see that they go straight into the tub and there's no way to stop, stop them, close them rather. Mm, I've looked all through the hardware store and there's nothing, there's nothing. 